it's interesting how, um, you know, what happened in game one uh, that, you know, um, you pitched incredibly well and it was a tight game and we all know how it ended. Um, and you're 29, so this kind of predates your, you know, pretty much existence on yeah. the planet. But did you put two and two together? This was like a Kirk Gibson type moment. I think when when uh, Freddie Freeman went yard to win game one. People brought it up and people, you know, mentioned it. I, you know, in the moment, absolutely not. But, right. you know, after the game, people are talking about it and like that it was, you know, one of those things. And then, you know, Joe Davis did an unbelievable job with his call and, and uh, you know, given uh, paying homage to, to Vince Scully. So. I mean, it was it was one of those things that you put side by side. Like it is, I mean, that home run that Freddie hit was unbelievable. Like, we all didn't know what to do. Like, it obviously, like game was over, but it was so stressful. Everybody just hung out on the field. Normally, like walk off, great, go in, but everybody just we all hung out on the field because it was like that was that was incredible. What do you mean you didn't know what to do? It was it was like did that really just happen? Like we really just we won game one like that. At least that's how it felt for me. Like I was in a oh my gosh, like oh my goodness state. It was just like I, I, it did happen so fast. Like it was, you know, he, Nestor came in through one pitch to, to show, and you know Verdugo goes over the side, and then they walk Mookie, and next you know Freddie's hitting a walk off grand slam, and we were win game one after you know the like it was a back and forth kind of game, and uh, we just we stayed on the field. Everybody was 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 just overjoyed, and um, for me being from here and just like seeing everything I was like this is like this is incredible well as I revealed to you before this uh interview uh, I'm a I'm a Yankee fan yeah so while you didn't know what to do neither did I <laughs> I was in the I was in this in the stadium with my 13 year old who's you know potentially trying to follow in your footsteps Jack from mm -hmm. here in uh in Southern California and uh, we went out like in a zombie like state to our car yeah and um, so he's also a Yankee fan he is that I, I got that one mm. going for me Susie over there got the the Patriots and the Celtics okay you know, so that's there okay she's she's from New England so <laughs> you know but our it, daughter's middle name is Mattingly yeah okay so that's what I'm saying like, yeah. yeah that's what I'm dealing with over here uh, you've, you've got a lot to deal with yeah, over there. yeah. <laughs> I'm dealing but with you've, over here. you got the championship with the with the Celtics this year and I got that. I yeah. got years of rings. Of course. Like, Thanks I, to Mookie, I, I, too, I by the way. The king on. of rings. Oh, yeah. please. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. He's unbelievable. He's incredible. Right? I He's mean, unbelievable. Like, truly one of the greatest athletes anybody's ever going to come across. Oh, my Mookie, goodness. Right? I, in, in everything. He's the only active player with in baseball with, with three rings. And then you just add what he can do bowling-wise. Is... Have you bowled with him? You've I seen have, it? Have I have this? not. We we went to his house after um, after the parade. We went over. We went to his house, and he's got a whole setup there where he says like he he bowls every day, pretty much. So okay, walk me through this. Parade's over. Mm -hmm. Party at Mookie's house. Is that what you're saying? Parade's over. I took a nap. I <laughs> I, 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 I went I and took a nap. You, I couldn't tell you needed one, Jack. I couldn't I, tell. You know, yeah, I uh, I went and took a nap, and then yeah, we went uh we went to Mookie's house. He threw a little, he threw a you know a party for everybody, and then we we continued the party and kept kept going. So everybody went to Mookie's house. I, pretty much everybody went over to Mookie's okay. house. And How he, cool is that? I was incredible. He's got an unbelievable setup. Guys were guys were bowling, trying to you know see what they could do. Um, and Mookie dominated. I didn't even I didn't see Mookie Bowl that okay. whole time, but right. he was I think he was just you know he was he was playing host a little bit, so he was running he was bouncing around running around. This but, is like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, he's he's an unbelievable athlete. What's Shohei like? Shohei is like one of the guys. Shohei is one of the dudes. He just he just wants to he he he'll just he sits on the bus he reads his comic books and which comic uh, books? I'm not sure. They're all in oh, Japanese. Japanese. Okay. Yeah, he just has it on his iPad. Uh, he shows up to the field, does his work, is as chill as they come. Um, Sometimes brings a dog to the stadium. Uh, you know? Yeah, decoys there for pretty much all the games. He just doesn't. He's decoys not down in the in the locker room with okay. us. But uh, shows just he's absolutely one of the guys. And uh, yeah, no kidding, huh? Yeah. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.